Hello, Simba. This is how Simba sits on top of a cat tower. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.45 a.m. Hydrox just came out of the shelter. It looks like there's some leftover food from yesterday, which is now frozen. Hydrox is scratching on the doormat. And this is the shelter that I saw Ditto go into yesterday. Um, I don't know how long he stayed in there. I don't know if he stayed in there overnight. I'm assuming he already came out of the shelter this morning. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe he's still in there. I have no idea. Today, uh, sometime today, I'm going to try to hook up a camera. So we can keep an eye on the shelter also. Um, yeah, we'll see. And there's the automatic feeder. I really can't wait for all this snow to melt. It's 9.30 a.m. and Stella is watching a duck video. So there's a new video for cats on YouTube and Boo has been sitting here watching it also. This is his TV watching chair now. Um, anyway, so it's a bunch of ducks and it's snow. It's like a winter duck scene. And Boo has been watching it for at least 45 minutes and Stella was sitting there absolutely thrilled by it. It's 10.05 a.m. and I was just gonna open the back door and put some food out for the cats, but I looked out the window first and I saw this. Look, can you see that? There's a paw sticking out of the shelter door. That has to be Ditto. I think Ditto has been in there all night. That's great. That's awesome. It's 10.10 10 a.m. I just came outside and there's Ditto. He looks so comfortable and happy. I propped the clear plastic door flap open yesterday because if a cat has never used a shelter before, they don't really understand the doors. So that's why I propped it open because I knew if it was propped open, chances are better that he would use the shelter and he did. After I put catnip in, he went in the shelter. It looks like he does not even want to come out of the shelter. I would not want to come out of the shelter if I was him either. That might be the first time ever that he has had a warm bed, ever. So that's pretty amazing. He's very happy there. Here's Hijax. Hijax wants some food. So I'm going to go inside and put some food together and then I have to come out and clean up the mess from yesterday. This has to be cleaned up. This has to be cleaned up. All these plates have to be cleaned up. Look at what's going on here. I don't know if you could see this, but there's a trail. I don't know who's been in the snow, but it looks like somebody tried to uh, come under the fence or they came under the fence. And it looks like, looks like they walk this way. And yeah, it looks like they made it over here. I don't know who it was, because this is really deep snow. But maybe if it was a cat and the cat's like not very heavy, maybe they're not gonna sink into the snow that much. And if we look at this a snowy path here on the side of the house. There's quite a few animal tracks in it. Actually, it looks like someone made a poop right on the trail. That's the shelter Ditto is in. I just put some food out for the cats. I mixed some warm chicken broth into the food for them. Here comes Ditto. Ditto's afraid of me today. Ditto, you have your own plate. Ditto, you could eat off your own plate. There you go. Let Hydrox eat on his plate. You eat on your plate. Eat your food, Hydrox. Eat it. It could have been a dominant show by Ditto. Eat your food, Hydrox.
All right, welcome back. We'll see what, what's going on here. It's 7.11 p.m. and Ditto and Hydrox are eating some food. I just put some food out for them. They're each having a scoop of homemade raw food with some warm water mixed in. And I gave them some herbs. And they're having a little bit of canned food also. And there is a raccoon that has been taking a bath in the water bowls. It might have eaten some food also. I don't know where it came from, but um, I need to go outside and take some garbage out. But I'm not going to go until the raccoon's gone. So tomorrow I have to go out. So that means I need to put some fresh water out also. It's 7.27 p.m. Ditto went back into his shelter and Hydrox is still eating. I just fed the inside cats. Hydrox needs to put his paw on the plate to keep the plate from moving around. That's what Simba does. I'm, I'm trying to teach Hydrox how to do that. Hydrox, put your paw on the plate. When you eat on a plate, put your paw on the plate. If you put your paw on the plate, the plate doesn't move, okay, Hydrox? You want some more food? Okay, I'll put some more out for you. It's about 8.45 a.m. right now. Boo is watching ducks. He's watching ducks walk on the snow and then swim in water. This is his new favorite video. <laughs> he loves watching ducks. Every morning I have to put nature videos on for the cats. The cats watch more TV than I do. And it seems that the only time this TV has been on lately is when it's on nature videos. And here's Simba. Good morning, Simba. And of course, Boo likes spending time with his arch. I moved it over here. Um, it was in his room before, but I moved it here because I thought he would like it and he uses it multiple times a day. He likes to sit with it when he watches TV. Right, Boo? Big stretch. Big stretch. Boo stretches when he's happy. Is he going to sit on the scratch and roll? Is he going to turn around and sit on it? Yeah. He likes to sit here, too. Mm -hmm. Hello, Simba. And here's Stella. Hey, Stella. Stella likes to help me get ready for my day. She likes to sit on the bed with my clothes. Right, Stella? Stella says she slept in the penthouse all night, and then she woke me up this morning because I was sleeping too late. She says, it's a weekday. I should be up by 8 o'clock. Okay, Stella. This is what Simba wanted. He wanted me to open the window so they could smell the air. It's 9.18 a.m. and here's Boo. And Ditto and Hydrax were just right there. They were just there before. I don't know where they went, are they? Oh, they're hanging out. They're sitting on the doormat by the back door. So Boo's been sitting here watching them. Hello, Simba. This is how Simba sits on top of a cat tower. How you doing, Simba? He's purring. Huh? 
What are you doing, Simba? I'm going to cover you with the blanket? Put the blanket on top of you? <laughs> no. It's midnight. I'm just about to go to bed. It here is Simba. He was playing with some pom-poms, but now he's just resting on the rug. Here's Splash. I don't know if you could see him, but he's hanging out under the dining room chairs. It's dark in this room, so you probably can't see much. Here's Stella. She's sleeping in a round cat bed by the window. She looks very comfortable. And here's Boo. He's wide awake, and he's still watching duck videos. It's about 12.30 p.m. right now, and this is the flower pot that Ditto knocked over yesterday, I believe. He was rubbing up against it, and I don't know how, but he managed to knock it off uh, where it is right here, and that's what all the dirt's from. It scared him, and he ran off, but then he came back. And here's Hydrox. He's sitting on this little cat path, but I need to walk, walk along it. Okay, he moved. And this is what's going on with Ditto's shelter. So yesterday, for the first time, I put the shelter flap down. It had been propped open for like a day. And Ditto had been going in and out of the shelter really good. So I said, let me put the flap down and, you know, it'll keep him warmer with the flap down. Unfortunately, he couldn't figure it out at first. And this is the wee wee pad that was in the shelter. Um, so as he was trying to open the flap, he ended up just uh, taking the wee wee pad out. So I'm going to throw that out and I'll put another one in there. And the reason why I put it in there is just to protect the heating pad. The heating pad has a like a plush cover on it, but, you know, to keep it from getting really dirty and soiled and everything, um, I think it's a good idea just to put a a wee wee pad on it and what I'll do today is I'll prop the door open again I think I think Ditto likes it better when it's propped open here's what it looks like with the door propped open so it's like half open and obviously with it propped open some cold air is gonna get in there but he seems to be happy that way so maybe once he gets used to it more the thing about these door flaps is the plastic on it is just like really firm plastic and the plastic i'm using on the door flaps for hydroxy shelter is um it's like softer plastic so it's more flexible so i can see how these plastic flaps are harder to to use so here's hydroxy shelter and i'm happy that the weather is warmer today because yesterday there was a sheet of ice right here in front of the shelter I'm going to take it out. I'm going to look inside. I don't think Hydrox peed in it, but I just want to make sure. And uh, yeah, we'll see. It's fish day today, so I split up a can of salmon between these two plates. And I also um, took the leftovers from the inside cats, which was some sardines and some tuna. And I just scraped the leftovers from their plates. Um, and then I split it between these two plates. So if they eat it, they eat it. If they don't, they don't. But that's their meal. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.